Okay guys, I'm about to do a battery test, just a hover test with the Evos battery. It's fully charged as of last night. And so I've got a GoPro here going and uh, that's what we're going to use to monitor this thing with. Uh, the plan is I'm going to get it up in the air and I'm going to hit record on my screen for the uh, Evo video. And because you know it, it shows a time of how long it goes. Uh, my settings for my first battery one are 25% and for the uh, final one is 15%. So I'm going to let it go down to 15%, let it automatically land itself, and then we'll see what the time is. So that's what you can expect. All right, here we go. Let's see. Let's get the controller going. Okay, got the phone going. The Evo turned on. It's connecting. All right, it's doing its gimbal thing. Fly with caution. All right, says so it's ready to go. So, yeah, give it a second. All right, let's lift it up. Start record, and then we'll be able to see the, the recording there. And it should be in this GoPro. Feel the view. Let's see. Let's lift it up a little bit. Bring it back over in the center. And, uh, we just let it go. Right now it's been going for 31 seconds. All right, so I'll go sit in the shade and watch it. Okay, it just went into 23 minutes of, uh, of flight time. So we will see. We are one minute, 45 seconds in, three minutes. There's a little bit of a breeze today, but it's not much, literally might be two or three miles an hour right now. So Evo is moving around just a little bit, four minutes in. At 19 minutes remaining, uh, it's been recording 4 minutes and 22 seconds. 5 minutes in shows 18 minutes and 36 seconds of time remaining. So it's claiming I can get over 23 minutes in hover time, but we'll see what happens. Oh, and for all the Horizon Tilt people, no, I've done no gimbal calibrations or anything else. And you can see the Horizon is perfectly straight. I mean, look at the fence, look at the, look at the buildings there, of course, look at the mountains out in the background. Perfectly straight. Six minutes in. We're at 6 minutes and 37 seconds, and I forgot to record my phone screen, so I'm not recording that. We just passed 7 minutes, 16.40 to go. 8 minutes in, 15 minutes and 29 seconds remaining. So it's now saying, calculating about 23 and a half minutes. 10 minutes in, we got 13 minutes and 29 seconds left to go. We are 11 minutes in, we got 12 minutes and 40 seconds left, it says. But I've got to tell you, I'm sitting in a dugout here. I'm blocked by walls. And in this last minute, literally the, the breeze has picked up. And I would say gusting at probably about 10 miles an hour now. So the Evo actually is suddenly having to fight a wind. So 
so I'm sure it's going to have some impact on the battery life, but, you know, anyway, this is real world, and we'll see what happens. 12 minutes with 11 minutes and 6 seconds to go. So now it's just over 23 minutes. We are 15 minutes in with 7 minutes and 55 seconds remaining. So just shy of 23 minutes. I also should tell you that we are just shy of being 8,000 feet in elevation here. So that too will have an effect on battery life. But again, this is my real world, so that's what we're testing here. If you live at a much lower elevation, I would say you could probably add, you know, whatever this comes up to be another minute or two or three to yours. 16 minutes and we're at 31% battery life. We're 6.43 right now remaining. 17 minutes with 26% battery life remaining and 5 minutes and 44 seconds to go. Okay, so I got a low battery warning at 25%. And 1723 in. Get rid of that. 18 minutes in with 4 minutes and 50 seconds to go and 22% battery life. We're at 19 minutes, 17% left, and 335 left on the time. But like I said, at 15%, this thing will automatically land, or at least it's supposed to, and I will certainly let it. And as soon as it touches ground, then I'm going to hit the stop, and that'll be our time. Okay, and there it is, critical low battery warning, it's going down, and 1931. So, that's what we got. 19 minutes, 31 seconds in hover time. At all the various things that I told you, and that's 15% battery life remaining. I hope you enjoyed this test.